Hello guys, welcome to the channel Soul of Mind Physics and as of now we have come up with a very interesting topic based on mechanical properties of fluids. It's a 11 standard topic, you must have studied the chapter, it's an important chapter. From that based on the Bernoulli's theorem, an interesting and a simple topic has been picked out. So we are going to study today about atomizer. Yes, atomizer. It's an important topic. It's a simple topic and very interesting and very easy to understand. So Keep up with me and we'll understand the working of an atomizer. So watch this video till the end and if you have liked it, like our channel and subscribe it for such interesting videos if you want to watch more of them and a new IITJ solution series have been started, watch them also and an MCQ series for NEET and class 12 board examinations because MCQs have been included for the first time in class 12 board examinations have also been started so watch them also but for now join me with the working of an atomizer based on Bernoulli's theorem from chapter 9 mechanical properties of fluids class 11th so as you can see the image of an atomizer has been drawn and atomizer also can in normal language we call it a space so here we will Consider it as a spray and now let us discuss its working. So in this you can see a container is there. Let me mark it first. This is a container. And then inside the container, this I have filled it, suppose it's filled with a liquid. And this is the stem which connects us to this hole through which the liquid has to be sprayed out. So I'll call this the stem. And this is the cork, and this is an important part. This part is an important part. It is known as rubber balloon. It is the main part so that this stem, this whole system works. I'm going, I'm writing it down. Rubber balloon. Now I've marked all these three regions. The spray that we had seen in the video had a something part like this connecting our here. That is also the same, that also does the same function as this balloon. It has a spring connected which when com which when this is pressed it compresses and the air blows out. So but for, for a better understanding we are consi considering a balloon. So what Bernoulli said wherever the pressure is low pressure from a high concentration region goes to the pressure in a low concentration region. So here suppose the pressure is equal here. And there is let and there is air inside it because we know when there is nothing there is air. So there is air inside this system. Now, if I press this balloon, if this balloon is compressed, suppose I am exerting a force on this part and this part. So it's being compressed. On the compression, what happens? The air inside this part moves out. When the air moves out, the pressure in this whole region this part the stem part and the this system becomes low as compared to the pressure in the container that is the pressure of the liquid so the liquid tends to move upwards when the liquid moves upwards it flows through this stem and comes out then again if i compress this balloon the liquid comes out in the form of spray you can relate this sprinkler to the basic life because it's used for your deodorant bottles, it's used even in your uh, sprinklers that is used for watering the plants. So the basic principle is that pressure from a high concentration region, as you can see the liquid which has a pressure higher concentrated to this part moves to a pressure that moves to a region that has low pressure and this is the region that has low pressure. So while pressing twice, when this is compressed twice, the water moves out, which means that first time air moves out then after that when the water rises up it fills this place and when this place is filled again if it's compressed water moves out and this process continues so remember water never comes out in the first place it comes out always second because first the air of this area has to be emptied this was the basic principle of an atomizer or you can say the spray and it's a interesting topic it's a simple one and it's also based on the Bernoulli's theorem so hope you have enjoyed the video and 
like this if you have really enjoyed it thank you thank you so much